pushing some snow. All right, guys, it is February 10th. It's snowing again pretty good. First time ever using my new camera, the EOS Rebel T6. Picked it up late last night. And we are, I just threw a little plowing around the shop here. Lots of snow. It's been, uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon here. Um, it's been snowing since about eight this morning. And uh, we've got about two inches so far. Pretty cold, it's about five degrees, so it's nice. Snow is fluffy. Spinning the wheels like always. We are uh, gonna get this opened up here and then uh, hook the, the 04 up to the V plow. And yeah, go out and pull some snow. All right, so three o'clock, two, 2.33. We're gonna get the house hooked up, get everything rigged up, ready to go, and head out plowing about, uh, all right, it was six o'clock. Got the crew We're gonna meet in Elk River, so all right, see you guys in a bit. All right, it's about 5:30 here on February 10th. We are we ended up getting about uh, three inches. We are uh, starting the townhouses here. About five degrees, so the snow is nice, light, and fluffy. And uh, yeah, we are knocking them out. Talk about getting close. That's almost too close. And if you don't plow these with the paint cars and they go with the plane. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can say we got about I got pretty close. Got about three inches of fluff. Uh, it's nice. About five degrees, so it's nice and fluffy. We got uh Jasmine on the shovel. She is uh Dave's girlfriend. She's uh, pretty good at shoveling. She uh, gets stuff done. Goes as fast as uh, my other two shovelers. We got Tate down there. Hey. Plugging away. So. By the way, you're never too close. You can be each way, and if you don't hit it, you're good enough. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Until you slide on ice and hit side swipe it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, getting, it's getting dark here, so I don't know. Like I said, it's one of possible to get good footage at night, so I will uh, I'll see, do what we can. But. Other than that, we're gonna start pounding away all night. It's uh, Sunday, February 10th. They're saying Tuesday, another four to six, so uh, we'll see. But, all right, we're gonna get uh, back to it. All right, we, it is uh, just about dark here. There's a good uh, three inches. I got my buddy, uh, my buddy Zach, helping out with some plowing. He, uh, he sub a bunch of work to him. He does some uh, residentials out by where he lives. He lives about half hour from me. He does some residentials out there and then he does those and he comes over and helps out here. He's a welder and he's got this truck, uh, truck and plow. He helps out when he can, which is nice. How's it going? What's going on? <laughs> you get that residential right up by your place? We got her done. Right. How's the truck running? The truck's running great. We're pushing some snow. Yeah, it's been a crazy uh, week. It has been a crazy week. We're uh, getting a little spoiled as snowplow drivers. Yeah. What time you got up tomorrow? Um, six o'clock or five o'clock actually. Right. Yeah. So how late you think you want to plow? Um, I don't know. We'll see here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully get a few more hours in. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, text me your uh, start time. Sounds good. All right. See you later. You bet. All right, I'm gonna jump back in the truck and uh, get some stuff done. All right, see you guys later.
All right, guys, this is absolutely insane. This driveway is solid ice. This guy's out of town, and he said, uh, you know, wait till it, it snowed a couple days ago. We plowed all that like four inches, and then we got this like eight. There's so much snow here. Um, there's so much snow here, and it's literally pure ice, and it's so steep. As you can see, I barely made it up, and then I slid. I went sideways, almost slid out on the main road. It was a complete disaster. The only way this is getting done is if we snow blow the whole thing and salt it, because like, I'm just sliding everywhere with pure ice. Like, look at that where I came up. Went completely sideways into uh, the ditch. Um, went completely sideways off right there. You couldn't see it, I don't think the thing was high enough, but slid down, unreal. Complete disaster. The only way this thing's getting done is if we snow blowed. So, the only way I'm getting out of here, too, now I'm up here in full feet. I'm gonna slide right onto that road, as you can see, it's pure traffic. So I just call a guy; he's gonna come and just block, basically block the road, so I can go down, slide out, and get out of here. And this little snowball, the dumb thing, unreal. Oh, oh well, we'll uh, we'll get her. All right, see ya. All right, so one of my guys' vehicles broke down, so I am uh, being a nice guy and I go and pick him up, and then he's probably gonna end up grabbing one of the work trucks and the trailer and bring it to the uh, mechanics. So uh, help your uh, help your guys out when they need help. What happened? I never buy a car with over 50,000 miles. <laughs> what happened? Lost oil pressure. What happened? Lost oil pressure, boys. <laughs> Lost oil pressure, that ain't good. Uh, so what, you're driving and it just starts Freaking out, shut off, told me to shut the rig off, low oil pressure. Ah. That can't be good. How many miles does that thing have now? <laughs> it's, it's an 07, it's 2007 Suburban, and how many miles does it have? 250 something. <laughs> it already has a new motor. A yeah, new motor, what else? New tranny, new, 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 new differential. Yep, never mind a car again with over 100,000 miles. You hear it from the man himself. A lot of people say, oh, I'm not scared of miles, but vehicles only have so much life in them. Well, they'll also go for everybody. Every week you put $1,000 in them. Right. You might better off on a $1,000 payment in a brand new truck. Exactly. It could be. Let's just go there quick. And the mechanic said just to swing in there and get a new truck, so while I'm there. <laughs> Cornerstone Chevrolet. <laughs> Yeah, all right, we uh, got to go clean up a residential quick, and then uh, we'll get her to the mechanics. All right, see you guys later.